Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Orphan Black, Season 5, Episode number 8. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe, and please hit that notification bell. Alright, we have a couple of comments from Episode 7, starting with Pod, who says, This show is my own top 10 that I've seen. I'll keep this somewhat brief, but I haven't said anything yet, but wanted to before it was over. You could make a case why anyone on the show was the best, but for me, Rachel just showed why she... She shares the title with Sarah. Like Sarah, I've always viewed Rachel as the most interesting and complicating and had always shown signs for a potential redemption. She may not be there completely yet, but I think cutting out your own eye is a solid first step. Goddamn. Yeah. Uh, as for That's Sarah, beast. even though this all started as a con job, she's almost always been invested 100% to get the end game to protect her family with zero Fs given as to how she get there. Not to mention that she's been pivotal to the growth of nearly everyone, most importantly, Helena. Without meeting Sarah, Helena at this point point very easily could have killed countless others including Allison, Kasima, and even Rachel. Mm -hmm. But not Crystal, she's just too clever. <laughs> <You're> right? <laughs> Alright, Executive Producer Lissis says, This Rachel episode was amazing and we got to see what she went through her whole life and she finally figured out in this episode how little control and power she actually had her whole life. Mm -hmm. I also love how they showcase even as a legally free clone, she is not actually free and her body is still getting experimented on and she's literally being spied through her own eyes. Yes. Uh, own eye, and I think that was the last straw and I'm glad she decided that enough is enough. Yep. That last scene was bonkers and your reactions were hilarious. Yeah, uh, now, the, nasty. now the series is coming to an end, I would love to hear your thoughts on who are your favorite characters are and what are your favorite scenes from this entire series, and if you guys could rank them, that would be lovely. I apologize in advance because I know this is no easy task to show shows. Sh this show has some of the best characters and iconic duos and partnerships and some great villains. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, so uh, RJ and I will think about that, and we could totally put... A mini video together yeah. ranking our favorite characters and some of our favorite moments of uh, the show. We will yeah. absolutely do that. I think that's a great recommendation. Yeah. Um, so here's my attempt favorite characters. One, Helena. Two, Mrs. S. Three, Allison. Four, Felix. Five, Cosima. Six, Donnie. Seven, Art. Eight, Delphine. Nine, Scott. And ten, Sarah. Ooh, we put Sarah all the way down. Mm. That is. <laughs> okay. All right, I Sarah deserves to be number ten, though. Iconic duos, number one, Allison and Donnie, two, Kasim and Delphine, three, Felix and Allison, four, Sarah and Art, five, Sarah and Paul, six, Sarah and Helena, seven, Helena and Donnie, um, eight, Rachel and Ferdinand, nine, Sarah and Felix, and ten, Mrs. S and Sarah. Villains, one, Rachel, two, <laughs> Evie, yeah, Evie was a badass, three, Ferdinand, four, Virginia, Virginia yeah, Cody. Evie was 5 PT Westmoreland, 6 Caster Clone, 7 Detective Marty Duco, 8 Detective Maddie Anger, 9 Simon Frontenac, and 10 Henrik Johansson. Yeah. Great list. Alright, then we have Terry coming through saying During the show's run, there was always a small percentage, perhaps uh, between 5 and 10% of the clone community who either sympathized with, apologized for, and some who been appreciated preferred Rachel. But as the series came to its conclusion, this episode plus two more things she will do seems to earn Rachel at least a minuscule bit of acceptance and honor as a lead sister in the overall saga. Mm -hmm. Though, I do recall there being uh, a quite a bit of Rachel-based art being shared throughout. All right, and then Henning wraps up the last comment saying, great reaction, guys, and wow, what an episode. Like I said before, this is this one is probably in my absolute favorite episodes of the series. I remember watching this for the first time when it aired and being completely hooked from the beginning to end. It was just so well written, directed, and acted, and I love the way the flashbacks were integrated and explored Rachel's character in a, in a way we've never seen before. Mm -hmm. It was so thrilling seeing her world collapse as soon as she found out her eye was used to spy on her and seeing her slowly question everything she believed in, yeah. but ultimately switching sides to protect Kira. And she did all this while completely drunk and <laughs> while keeping her true intentions for PT. What a queen. And that final scene of her taking her own eye with the stem of a martini glass was just chilling, disgusting, Crazy. and amazing all at the same time and made her one of my absolute favorite characters in the series. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for the next one. It's going to be just as intense, if not more. Okay. All right. Well, let's get to episode eight right now. It's strap. That's so business. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it should have passed out. If it wasn't for Ooh. that being a fake ass eye. It doesn't matter. It's still pulling in from her. Yeah, I don't know how they suture that in there, but. Yeah, 
you're gonna have to get another one. prepared doses of the inoculant. Yeah. And depending how much of the cellular culture survived, we can manufacture twice that again. Then what? You go around inoculating leaders with it? Yeah. That's the plan. But we still don't know how many there are. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Right, Scotty? Okay. Yeah, how many Where are you going? Uh, out. I thought we were all heading over to Felix's together. I'll catch you guys later, okay? Hey, sure. Save the world. We have this whole don't ask, don't tell thing going on. Now she going out, Miss S going out. Oh. Rachel just waking up. Hey. Oh, they're meeting the other. Are you sure about this? Wouldn't it be safer if the others knew? We have one shot at this, and if it's gonna work, Sarah can't know who we dealt with to get here. What about after? After you go to the opening, like nothing happened, and I'll send you instructions there. Are we good? What are they doing? What are they meeting? What are they doing? I sort of love being in the middle of all of this. <laughs> He's like, I love being in the middle. <laughs> with our transgressive little alliance, wouldn't you? It made me sick to work with the man who killed MK. Sarah doesn't know you two are here, does she? No, it's just the four of us. Our interests are very firmly aligned, as you now have a nice big fat target on your back, too. So, the mission goes down for good. Well, we all do. This is a summary of the evidence we've amassed so far. But we need you to help us prove it. I'd like to talk to you alone. You'd be dead if I hadn't called him in to save you. Oh, that's how he showed up. After you. So we spiked our glue van with vodka. We were on an entry. Mm -hmm. Nice. And uh, Felix and I actually. Got some serious outplace he crept by the end of it, but Delphine was like all business. What was this even doing with her other? I don't know. I mean, I only met her the once. So. Who else was she meeting? I have no idea. And we don't have time for this. We gotta get ready. Westmoreland wants unprecedented access to human knowledge. And Hashim Al-Khatib was bribing companies worldwide to get it. You don't have a record of any of that, do you? No. But Neolution want to sell curated, commercialized evolution to the one percent who can afford it. So they can live forever, grow a bloody tail if they want to. 
The rest of us, <laughs> Cody's apartment, targeted for sterilization. How's that sitting with you these days? You saved my granddaughter. I'm willing to take a gamble on nature over nurture. This is all the supporting evidence to her claims. I have proof of bribes. <coughs> it will barely carry a new cycle. You're a smart woman, Rachel. Like any good CEO, you kept a shadow file. A record of where the bodies are buried. Give me the proof I need to back this up. Give yourself a chance to be truly free. Let Cosima make an appearance. No. Yes. I'm not going to do that. What I need is for you to leave right now before people start arriving and something plainly happens. I'm already on the ground. It's already happening. This is my um, foster sister, Sarah. You, you call him then? Cool. You call him. Oh, you alright? Yes, oh. I remember the time I I did your dead body. Yes, but we got over that, didn't we, Colin? Did we? Yes. I think we did. Yeah. Hey. Oh my God, it's so late here. Hello. Boss to the left. Enjoy yourselves having a look around, yeah. Congratulations. I don't know, I remember why I enjoyed that one. <laughs> it was so cute. That book is about your life? Yes. This is for my babies. <coughs> Joys and my pain and sorrows. So they walk a brighter path. This is for my babies. My babies. Just Rina is going to town, so we have to take care of toilet. Toilet? Cleaning. Tomorrow I'll call you then. I miss you, Mark. <coughs> I love you. Oh yeah, then she asked him when he died. Then she asked her when she he died. She said two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Virginia Cullen. Is she lying? Yes, she is. Far as I can tell. Oh, good lord, don't look now. Ezra Lim is here. Who's he? Ezra Lim. He's the galleries from Geneva. He's got spaces in London, Paris, and LA, and I'm quite sure I oversold myself. Well, then, then do, do something. Come on, do something unique. Cosima is dropping off, Scott. Maybe you could use this. Make it part of the show. All right. Clean what? Ooh. Donnie, Ooh. get the champagne, and put Cosima on standby. Look at what Alice, even what Alice is wearing. I just like... <coughs> Sister, we know so much yet. 
So then, now, where do you live in the real world? I live deep in Bailey Downs, which, uh, which is the suburb just, just north of here. Oh, and this is my husband, Johnny. Champagne. Champagne. <laughs> No alcohol for me. I need to drive the soccer bus. You look different. Yes, well, I'm I'm always different. Identity is a social construct for us. Danke. Danke. <laughs> Confused. That was so great. Oh, okay. Oh, they're all confused. Keep going. Go, okay. I love you. Felix, are we clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh my God, hello. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Look at you. God, you look so rosy cheek. You're bounding upstairs. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back to bounding. There you are. It's fabulous. Don't I love this. This is going to be so good. It's going to be all the Come sisters on. with um, Felix by your show. Show off, show off darling. Scotty Curtin. My dear friends, may I present to you. Metis, goddess of wisdom and of deep thought. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. I love everything Let's about do this. Don't put me on a spot, I would die. Right. Destroy Westmoreland and the illusion. Go somewhere warm. Off the grid. I can see it now. Lounging around at low tide in our flip flops. Browsing the printer's digest. Dipping toast points into egg yolks. Glorious. With this, we can build a dynasty. Obscene wealth. Anything. Than being able to do anything that we want. What do you want to do? We've got freedom. Go to Burger King. Get that name swap. Sarah's here. Okay, no. She needs to talk to you. You, you've done something wonderful. Yeah, you are one of our best guys. Best. <laughs> Along with Donnie and Scott and Art. Well, that's exquisite company, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. She's like, I'm Sold. Right. Lovely, thank you. Thank you. We have to go. You own me. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Good life. <laughs> you own me. Incredible. Oh my god, all right. I don't know what S did, but tell Sarah that she Tell her yourself. Hey. I love you. Love you. More. Oh my god. Alright, it's ready and waiting. Is S here? Where's the girl? Oh, I dropped my head. Did you get the trunk? Do you know who S's real source was? The one who got us to Cody? I'm not doing this right now with you. With Ferdinand. What? S built some things. She's in league with him. I think her and Delphine are cutting a deal with Rachel. Shit. That's terrible. That's brutal, then you're not gonna like this either. But Donnie, Curtin! Athena! You ain't gonna like this either. Donnie, just. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
Alex, what is she doing?
gave Felix an episode. Yeah. He deserves it too. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I made it back. That was a death trap, that meeting. You expected them to kill me. I told you what I wanted. You chose not to listen. Well, we just ride off into the sunset with everything you've ever wanted. Was at our fingertips. Didn't need to take a payoff. That is how we win! No, we win if Neolution is exposed and Westmoreland is stripped of his myth! It was a smoking gun, Rachel. There's nothing for you here. It's gone. Oh, you gave it up. You can't hurt me. No? Oh, please don't hit me, Daddy. Let me hit you, Daddy. I gave everything to be under your heel of that is squandered forever, you heartless. I'm about to have a motherfucker trying to kill me. I swear. When this eye heal. I'm surprised he, he stopped. He didn't kill us. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to exhibit them in New York. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm also interested in my back catalog. Oh, it's mad. It is so mad. I can't believe it. You are always so creative, you know. Little fighting creative spirit. It feels like this, like, Siobhan's, like, gonna die. This is die. Colin, Mum. Someday soon you'd like to come around for tea and ask you for my hand. Is that right? Oh, Colin? Hello. Hello. He does, though, have some rather piercing questions about some of my muses. Oh, well, you better settle accounts there before you come round to me, then. Well, I think we can work that together. Yes, I'm sure. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, the here's a thing, too. Boys, though, you say yeah! <laughs> Yeah, but Ferdinand made it out. I figured it would. Yeah. Uh, I figured it would. Be careful. Thank you, Rachel. Goodbye, Siobhan. Oh, if she thinks Ferdinand's gonna come kill her. Yeah. Um, Rachel, why you didn't tell him? It's already put out there to the world. Like, it's not you can do it. It's already out. So killing S would be but she would, sense. But he would just kill S for the fuck of it. Because she did try to kill him. Yeah. I'm going back to the crib. I know that's what he's going to get. <clears throat> well, that's a bloody mess. Do you want to shoot first or ask questions? Mess of the house, babe. Well, that's your woman. Welcome home. Were you really going to shoot me coming in my own door? In the leg. So you do want to talk? Mm -hmm. In the leg. I just put holes in you with this 45. Bigger than a hole you could put in me. With that 9 mil. Won't make much difference in the throat, love. Fucking life's fine. Put them down. the gun and took this clip out of
Left ventricle, one tight one. Alright. Well done, Siobhan. Such grit. Uh, I'll take a mercy tap. Thanks. Really? Right. I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed in you. Would you pass me that photograph, at least? Uh, uh, Does she have one over there? Yeah, I was gonna say, does she have another guy in? She got guns everywhere, well. and that was our couch too. But won't make much difference in the neck. She's only quite an old lady. You. No, as a woman, I'm fourteen percent more likely to survive a gunshot wound than you. Oh, he died. Yeah. <laughs> That's how fucking social shit died. So I'm waiting for something like that, man. Damn. All right, that was episode eight of Orphan Black, and that was a great episode, man. A crazy build up. Um, series finale ending, you know, that's just no take backs. Some people got to die from all these seasons that was coming up, and that's what happened over here. I mean, they, they took people out that, that survived all the way through. I mean, the biggest one, obviously, Mrs. S getting got the way she got got, went out gracefully like a boss that she is, and um, set Ferdinand ass down like he was supposed to go down. Um, Man, it's the, the, the two episodes left. Shit, just about to get fucking bonkers now. Now Sarah's about to be unleashed. That is, that's it. Ain't no more talking to her now. Especially when she finds out yeah. that Helena's grabbed. It's it's a done deal. So she about to probably go in like Rambo with a machine gun and everything. But I love this episode, man. This series finale is probably about to be super bonkers now. And I'm here for all that, and I can't wait to see how it shake out. Yeah, this episode was incredible. I'm so glad they gave um, a Felix-centric episode. And I thought they handled it so beautifully, yeah. incorporating his art as the episode, which is so aligned with him. Um, and having the sisters uh, do the clone swap, too, which is so classic to this show, yeah. was just so heartfelt and sweet. I'm trying not to cry, but it's going to happen. <laughs> and then... Um, the dynamic, dynamic between Sarah, Shabbat, and Felix and being able to showcase that. I had a feeling the entire time. I was like, what are they doing? Are they setting her up to die? And like, the fact that, like, not only did Mrs. S come up with this with Ferdinand because she knew that was the only way she could get through to Rachel, um, but she even set it up because she knew how much it would piss off Sarah. She even tried to create a situation in which Ferdinand would get his. Mm -hmm. um, he wasn't supposed to leave that meeting. So, like, Siobhan knew it was going to be something that Sarah wouldn't agree with because of MK. But she did it ultimately with the plan that Ferdinand would be taken out, too. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't play that. But that's why, ultimately, there's going to be some letter they're going to read. I already know! I'm going to die in this episode! Because she misses. Oh, yeah. she wrote that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like... She knew ultimately if it he survived good. that it was going to be on Mrs. S to take him out, which she did while still um, being taken out as uh -huh. well. But yeah, so graceful, so Mrs. S. I felt like they handled that so beautifully. Yeah, great job. Um, and yeah, another just phenomenal episode, and I cannot wait for the next one. For real. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Orphan Black Season 5, Episode 8. And until next time, people, peace.